All right, yeah, BBPN and guests, the playoffs for Season 7 have indeed started. So, yes, you can hear the crowd is excited. Our first match coming up here, it's going to be a scary one. It is the lowest the low underdogs versus the number one team. And we're going to see how well they actually perform. Uh, that's what she said last night. All right, so strap your boots, grab your beer cans, get the stubby olders ready, and let's get out there at the stadium and see who gives what for. Constable Ed, you've waited all season for this one. About bloody time, too. Well, it does take a season to get here. And uh, here we are. The terror you have all been waiting for. The battle of the not quite ready for a prime time rat stars here. It is Underworld. This is the Staven. Yeah, as we called it, it's a crazy matchup between these two teams here. The number one team qualified. They came out the second round. Perfect. All wins. Now, getting there originally, it wasn't that case. But second round, that was their round. They dominated the division. And here they are. As you see here, they've come in. There's a free wizard for both teams. Three rerolls. And the fans have shown up from the clan there. Plus the apothecary. Underworld, of course. Well, everything they could bring. Booze, a bribe. And yes, of course, they got that free wizard. And their apothecary. And it looks like choosing to receive is the cheesy ones themselves. Oh, this is going to be a bloody one there. Hoody hoo, yes! It is a warpstone troll with tentacles! Yeah, you gotta pronounce it correctly there, lad. It's not tentacles, it's hentai or tentacles! Alright, there's, there, there's, a, there's a rule for that there. Alright, let's go and get the ball! <laughs> that should be easy, they're scaven. Now, remember here, scaven, as was predicted here, they've got quite the gun runners, and everyone's predicting that is. Well, what's going to carry this game? Because it sure as fuck ain't you. He's already dropped his balls today. And now, uh, first break of the day. And guess what? It's a push with the tackle. That is a break immediately there. Well, we don't want to say break there. Underworld's come in. Four reserves. That is as many gobs as they can get out of the Warrens. Yeah, they brought everybody. Big smash down there. There's the pile on. Is he dead? Nothing. Silence! I kill you! Yeah, that man has got one job and only one. He needs to kill every player. He can get his foul good feds hands on. It's good, right? Yeah, it is anyway. Sure, the alcohol's finally starting to kick in. About bloody time. All right. Now, here's where the game's going to become all down to here. The good runners, Bill Bexley Speed, 100%. They are expected to carry this team. All the way through here, but as you can see, he's got them all in play right now. All four of them. So, yeah, a lot of strength twos. But then again, there's lots of gobs on the field. Underworld, what they're counting on is this bastard. And they're hoping tentacles might actually stop doing something. Swing and a miss. That's not exactly what he wanted right there. Yep, both teams already turned one. Extremely disappointing. But you can see, yeah, he's going for the early foul on the little fucker. He wants them very dead. And yes, he has gotten skitter, skitter, stab, stab. That is the gutter rudder assassin is playing for Underworld for this game. And why he does not follow up, I have no idea. That should have been a follow up. Of course, there's a foul. How you feeling? Ah, he's only stunned. This is Sparta! Yeah, they're not letting anyone's pylon actually survive if he can help it there. Remember, he does have four reserves. So yeah, Underworld, his plan, and it's a deadly one there, is start thinning out any skilled player he can find, and then get to work on the gutter runners. Meanwhile, as for the Skaven here, score early, score quick, and grab every opportunity they can. They expect this to be a bloody one. 
All right, diving in here. Comes in with the wrestles. You can see what his general plan is here. No, that did not work the way exactly he wanted. But the sidestep's perfect, because that sets up an early potential score here. All right. Good, solid play here by the Scoven coach here. Plan for failure. And then hope to be really fucking disappointed. Marks the troll in case it really goes shizer. And meanwhile, diving on the side here. He's going to take a cheeky block. Yes, he is. Two dice. Trying to get rid of Skitter Skitter Stab Stab. You don't blame him. Skitter Skitter Stab Stab single-handedly can maybe stop this entire game here if he can get his hand on a gutter runner. Easy handoff. No problem. <laughs> And there he goes, going for the quick early score, and yes, we are in on the board, 1-0. Oh, Alright, so they have gotten on the board early, as predicted. It's probably the best move they can make all game here. Just get on the board and try to dominate as fast as they can here. Don't get me wrong, it's exactly what they need to do here. Yeah, just go in, go fast, go on, and then hope to survive. Because, yeah, Underworld, again, so far counting the fact he's got four reserves. Remember, there is still a wizard in play here, so he can't actually leave the player with the ball on the field. Because that, that's just, you know, being a lightning rod, it really is. Meanwhile, as you can see here, Skaven, they do have two line rats brought in. And yeah, they've got everyone on the field. All four gutter runners. They really are going to play hyper-aggressive here. Tentacles on the troll. That might be the bloody miracle he's looking for here. Remember, it is a strength versus strength to get away from tentacles. So if he gets his hands on a gutter runner... The gutter runner no longer is rolling dodge. He's rolling a, you know, a, a trying to beat a seven minus, you know, basically minus three into his die roll because the strength differential five is two. I, I, it swallows funds. Oh my god! Here we go! Holy dooly! Yeah, that was absolutely not what he wants. And yeah, you can see there, this blitz has just shattered the underworld team immediately. And here they come! It is a perfect onside kick for the statement. And they are pouring in down the lines as fast as they can. Push me, push you there. Well, so far, Tackle's not doing the job, but you know what? His job, you let the gutter runners go. Here they come, full speed ahead. Sidestep gets underneath the calico here. And here come the rest of the rats, full speed ahead here. They are going, well, why didn't he roll a reroll here? No, he's being very cautious here. It's being smart as fast as he can. Makes the GFI, no gerbils on my side. And so far, here they come here. Yeah, Skidder definitely needs to skank somebody here. Or shank. Skank, shank, tank. Yeah, he's going to do something, all right. Hopefully not the last one. And here we go. Gutters moving down the field here. Cutting the corner here. Tagging a couple of players up there. He's going to try and force Underworld to make more rolls here. Yeah. Makes the doubling dodge here. Remember, AG5, and we all know how well that works. And he's got the ball. Yes, he does. Yay. And there comes the fireball. Uh, and he's shutting him down now. Oh, Lord, there it is. There's another injury right there. Surprise, motherfucker. God, and they're still going. And he got everyone. The fireball hits all three. KO, injure, and a knockdown. A flawless fireball. <laughs> And uh, suddenly Underworld has rescued the situation here. Troll advances forward there. Push me, push you here. Underworld not wasting any time here trying to recover this situation. All right, Scudder, Scudder, Stab, Stab. Yep, they're sending the gutter runner to go get the ball. They do not care. They're getting up the field as fast as they fucking can here. Counter blitz. Yep, they want to make sure this ki this kill machine here is dead. I do cocaine. He does indeed. He absolutely is doing cocaine. And uh, yep, that is disappeared off the field. That is the end of the Steven kill piece. Uh, and suddenly Underworld is on the move. Thanks for standing still, wanker. 
Here they are indeed. They are especially on the move and they are plowing forward here. Uh, yeah, almost everyone is speechless. It looks like Underworld, you thought all that blitz was done. And suddenly two rerolls. Fireball, cat of fires there. No! 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 It is a deed, horror. He has to use the wrestle. Takes down Scudder, Scudder, and it lands in the kill machine. He's got the ball. Mr. Roid Rage himself now has to do something he doesn't know to do. Score. Oy vey, this game is absolutely going free fire all the way here. Gutter Runner runs back down the field here. Suddenly the Skaven going from the peak of confidence are suddenly in a mad panic here. Both teams use the Wizards here. But the Skaven, as you can see, two critical injuries out of KO. And suddenly they are down players for the rest of the game here. And there he goes. Run, bitch! Run! Yeah, absolutely. Full speed ahead. Meanwhile, Scudder, Scudder, Stab, Stab. He's going to start trying to make life as miserable as possible here for the Gutter Runners. Meanwhile, Underworld's got to be looking at fouling at this point here. As you can see, there are no casualties whatsoever in the Underworld. Have they turned the game around here? Let's hear it for the underdogs. Remember, Underworld came out the Hilliger Division number two, which means they are playing team one. But boy, you'd think they were team number, well, four. And there goes another one. Uh-oh, this is getting brutal. Yeah, they think there's dead bodies everywhere, and yep, the crowd is just going crazy. Yep, Goblin fails, trips on the play there, and gives himself his first and early KO. But, under, but Underworld has done a great job. Three solid casualties, none of them rookie players here. And suddenly, here we go, Skaven, well, it's not the first time they've been in this situation, but yep, they're down to eight players already. They do have the two reserves. Remember, unskilled line rats. And the, yep, and the, and the clan is calling for them now. Cuts the corner here. He's going full speed ahead here. He's not taking a chance here. One die into the goblin. He misses it. Dodges away here. Well, where's he going to go now, Sunshine? Yeah, well, he's going to try and mark the passes up. He's got to slow this drive down. Meanwhile, Scudder, Scudder, Sad, Sad. And there's the shadowing we've been waiting on. Remember, yes, Prehensile Tail... And of course it fails. Yeah, because he lowers the dodge, and guess what? The asshole still gets away. And the gutter runners. That is the one miracle they can do here. Well, here we are. Turn four. Scudder, Scudder, Stab, Stab. Still has not fired a, a nice little dagger into the heart of one of these damn gutter runners here. You think he'd be stabbing at this point here? No, I'm serious. You think he'd be just stabbing away here on the blodges? Oh, well, here we go. Solid blitz. Three dice. Oh, good lord. He got him. Side step. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. I know you hurt people, but I can tell right there. He so badly wanted to pile on, but he's the ball carrier. He can't go doing that. Oh, what a critical disaster that is. That could have been a perfect kill. Meanwhile, over here, wrestle on the troll. Down he goes. And the Underworld continue to scramble around the board here. Turn five for the Skaven here. Well, they're now in a desperate fight trying to recover the ball. Hell, that team's trying to recover from the situation here. All right, big solid block. Gets the takedown! Get over here! Uh, don't worry, it's only a stun here. Well, I hate to say it here, but <laughs> frankly, if you're the Skaven, you could use a few eliminations going your way for a change. Do it your way. The other way is irrelevant. Here we go. Solid block. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a KO, but if you escape it, you take it. Meanwhile, the miracle dodge. And does he make the shadow? Yes, he does. Now, does he make the second shadow? Let's see if he gets this one here. Nope, doesn't even try it. He decides not to. Unfortunate for Skitty Skitty, he could have just kept on shadowing all fucking day there. And now that's left things a little bit more concerning there. Meanwhile, down the field, push me, push you. The brawl does continue here. Skaven here might be trying to recover. 
Underworld, all right, the drive to score. Come on, he's got a dagger. Stab, stab him, fucking stab him. Uh, you're completely ignoring what he's for. Stab the blodger. Oh dear, oh well, here we go. Running back down the field there. Yeah, and here we go. Moving along here. Comes along here. Yeah, he's trying to get away with the sidestep and everything else like that. Meanwhile, yeah, you can see it. it oh, no! Ah! Not a gerbil at the worst possible time. Now he has to desperately re-roll that one there. Does he risk one more? Yes, he does. He's in there, and he's not on the board. It's 1-1. One, one. Let's pretend! Let's pretend! Let's pretend we score the goal! Yeah, well, they don't have to pretend anymore. He has managed to score. And he's tied the game up 1-1. As you can see here by the critical KOs there. The only one that didn't come back of all things was the thrower. Not too critical. Maybe. Who knows? Meanwhile, as for the Skaven, remember, they came in with two reserves. Three are solidly injured there. And, of course, they've got the one KO. Skaven are now having to try and win this game. And it's not the first time they've been in this situation. And they've only got, well, let's face it, nine players left. Of course, of those nine players, as you can see, it's a lot of gutter runners. Yep, one, two, three gutter runners. Yeah, you can see they've definitely done the damage. They have gotten rid of one of the gutter runners. They've got one off the field here. But again, <laughs> Scudder, Scudder, Stab, Stab. I stress again, he has a dagger. He should be stabbed. If you're worried about the blodges, you stab the son of a bitch. All right? Big solid throw down the field there. There we go. Quick snap. Let's get moving here. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. I don't know if you could be hurting anyone else here, but you know what? If you're the Skaven, your entire game plan now at this point has changed here. The focus, well, where we knew it was to win here, but now the focus is to try and protect what's left of his team here at this point here. No, seriously, it's going to start becoming a problem now. What condition is his team going to be? If it gets the second round. Underworld doesn't quite have that concern at the moment here. Solid block and there's KO. <laughs> Every single removal saves the Skaven nightmares. Meanwhile, dodge this. And there we go. There's the point. He's got the route through and here come the Skaven. This has become a score fest. Well, at least that is the whole idea anyway. Don't worry. I think there's going to be efforts to try to prevent this here. And yes, once again going with VG's favorite play, the ever safe, ever, never fails, Side Cage. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of box when you're out, don't you, lads? I mean, well, save it, fall through. And now, now here's the fun part. Pick up the ball, AG5, sure hands. What could possibly go wrong? Time for a true display of skill. Ah, how about a gerbil? Gerbil could go wrong. All right, well, he got the ball at least. There's the cheese pollution. There you go, no problem. And there he goes. Run, your little bastard. Run into the cage he goes. Run, bitch! Run! And meanwhile, the scrum continues. Why'd you move next to the troll? Yeah, no, seriously, that's actually a weird question. Why did you move next to the troll? You're actually giving him up to die. Well, then again, he has seen the replays. Their troll is going to hit anybody. All right, here we go. Charging in. There we go. Solid hit. Gets the takedown. Now he has to start parking players here. And above all, it's got to be skitter, skitter, stab, stab. Of all the players, that is the one that's got to be in there. Now everyone else has to scrum. This isn't a discussion. Well, admittedly, he has to keep an eye out for this lad. He can always cheekily get the ball back here and run this way. He does have the turns for it. It is only turn six here. And meanwhile, here we go. Scrum. What do you mean sacrifice the troll? Stopping the troll from getting the others. 
What on this? The LED was four. I just want to get there. He had had to cut a quarter. He couldn't reach without a GFI. Oh well. Oh dear. What's this cheaty bastard doing? Did he actually just sneak in there? Yes, he did. Cheeky little cunt, isn't he? All right, turn seven. All right, everything he can throw out of there more. Bye. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Yeah, well, he's not bleeding his own blood. He's bleeding someone else's. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, pushes him away there. That does save a bit of a problem there. And here come the rest of the gutter rudders. Yeah, what's left of them anyway? Skyving, taking a look at the situation here. And yeah, now you see what I was talking about there. That is the advantage of the build Bexley speed here of the gutter runners. Scudder Scudder Scab Stab really is the best solution for it because he's got his own build Bexley speed. Not that it actually matters. Groves running through. And there we are. It is now 2-1 two -two in a very hotly contested game here. Let's turn this one right back around here. Now, as you can see here, Underworld still. Only the one KO there. They did get the thrower back, though, and that is pretty critical there. KO does return, though, for the Skaven, giving them a critically and well-needed player here. It's going to be 11 or 10 here. Underworld solidly aiming for more removals. Only one reroll left here. Pothgary still in play there for the Skaven. Mind you, it's still there. However, this is the thing. Has a bribe. You need to be fouling more, lad. It, then again, that's the problem at this point here. The pressure is on right now here for the Underworld. All the things they need to do. Stabbing, fouling, drinking their beer. It, it, it's a very difficult, difficult time here. All right, Solar kick down the feet. Really? Really? Well, the bullshit does not stop, and so much for this scoring drive. You've got to oh, well, it's time for a bit of pain. Ah, uh, nothing. Yeah, tried the pile on, got nothing there. Oh, well, change of plan. It's time for a throw goblin play. He's got no choice now. Is he just lost a turn? That right was what. There, ah, finally, Skinner finally does a stab, completely misses. Here's the throw. He landed! Time for a true display of skill. Go, 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 go! And yes, he's made it! Yeah, you can hear it there, the Underworld fans, despite the rigging of the clock. Yes, they managed to score on, of all things, a thrown goblin. Ty Gore. This halftime course brought to you by Mountains of Cocaine. Because this would explain the coaches as well as the passing crew. Cocaine! Oh! God, it is a miracle. It is a miracle. Well, it is, isn't it? Uh, absolutely, there is a miracle. Tied at two, lads. We are tied at two. Second half. Underworld. Thank you very much. Has to now hold on here. Hopefully score. Goblin still KO'd. Meanwhile, over here, nothing new there. Everyone's got their rerolls back. Remember, the Wizards have been used here. Still got a bribe in place here. It's anyone's game. It really is. Welcome to the playoffs. There we go. Solid kick and a free reroll. How quick 
sharing. He's scaven. He doesn't need it. All right, Underworld on the drive here. Underworld must score. That isn't even a discussion. It's just they must score. They just got to plow this one down here. Now, here's the question. Can they take eight turns scoring? Who knows? Because the problem is this squad easily enough can get creative and do a one-turn touchdown. Meanwhile, over here on the flank here, big solid block. Takes them down. It's only a stun, don't worry. That's a pile on. And it is indeed settled in Smash. There is a solid KO. The lad has finally done his job. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah, the crowd's having a grand old time on that one there. Drunk is fucking stoked. Uh-oh. Well, that is really good. That really is a good there. Oh, well, there goes the cheesy reroll there. Well, he couldn't afford... You're thinking, well, he could just drop it, right? You're dealing with this epic team. You got out of possession. Meanwhile, Troll decides to go and look that one up, unfortunately, there. Oh, well, time for stunting, time to dodge away. No reason to stay in town. Let's just move away. Turn nine. All right, Skaven. We have seen this team do incredible things here. Yep, this is all just a line rat, but he's AG4. As we all know, never fails. Well, apparently this critical game, he's failed once. Push me, push you here. Oh, they're going to make this a chaotic drive. Look at the swarm coming in here. Man, Skidder, he better stop doing something here. He better get a confirmed kill or a trip. He needs to get something here. He does give that needed Bill Fexley speed to the underworld, but he's just one rat. <laughs> Can't he do it? That's put up a lot of pressure on the rat. <laughs> it really is. Look at all the GFIs. No gerbils on his creed. And meanwhile, these two are really out of position right now. Charges forward. Takes the wrestle to free the player up here, but that's really not helping your situation any. Comes diving over here. Does he do the stab? Nope, still not stabbing. I want to use the blitz elsewhere. Okay. And we'll see how well that works out for you. And meanwhile, yep, the light rat runs backwards of all things. Son, the end zone's this way. And he better have a good plan, because this doesn't look like one right now. There we go. Push me. Push you. The troll moves further away from the play here. AG4 makes the dodge away here. Oh, this is looking mighty vulnerable. There's the fail. Message for you, sir. He's going to try that again, and down he goes. And get off my lawn. Oh, he's off the lawn, all right. Off the reservation. He's off everything else. And, yep, that might have been a huge mistake. An absolute debacle suddenly. And that is the break they needed. Scudder, Scudder! <laughs> Ooh, you suck. He's dead. He's dead. Digger, I'll roll him in the stop. Well, yeah, he's dead. Well, he comes back later. But, ouch. Confirmed kill on the star player. Nope. By the rules, you cannot apart a star player. So yeah, that is quite dead. They're all dead. Yeah, they're absolutely dead. All right, would you like to try it again, Twinkle Toes? Yeah, comes charging in. See, I told you this was a huge mistake, and here he comes, too nice. Uh oh, it's only a push. He actually might get away. You fool! Yeah, he might actually get away. Remember, he's 84. He can just start running. Push me, push you. I hate to say it, his squad players get to him and run. That might be the play right there. Push me, push you. The scream, an absolute scramble. But yeah, suddenly it's a free kill zone night. As let's face it, with Skinner Skinner out of play, this just changed the entire game. Big punch. Took him down. I approve. We do approve there. And yeah, there goes the biggest threat he had on the field. The tackle is gone in the broadcast booth. He's thinking, well, that's about fucked it, hasn't it? All right, Underworld, turn 11. He's got no choice. Where the fuck are you going? You don't have the ball yet. I... Oh, good God. Well, he's going to give it to him. All right, how could this possibly go wrong? I will look for you. I will find you. 
and I will kill you. Yeah, that's how it feels like. Yep, goes for the cheesy handoff, and he merely rolls it one and fails it. There we are, the big pass. And at least he's got it. And his name is Panda. And then he activates the troll. He activates the troll. The one thing he did not need to activate, and he activates it. Huge. Like, I can see why. thinking, oh, I can hit him. Yes, but you need his tentacles right where they are. I'm serious. And now you've activated them. And now the tentacles don't apply. Oh, dear. Oh, what a mistake that one was. And all oh, the scaven going to make him pay for it. Oh, God. Yeah, well, it changes everything. You know, Yes, he hadn't stabbed anything. His shadowing hadn't worked too well there. He hadn't tripped anybody. But now he's lacking speed. And another AG4 piece. It is a big investment gone. And now he's going to stop paying for it. Bye! Yeah, he's something, all right. He's absolutely something. All right, AG5. Dives in. Easily gets the ball. Easily dives away again here. Ah, uh, yep. Skaven now has control of the ball here. And gee, because Scott has got a stab, stab, not in the field. He's got no one with speed to catch this bastard. Yes, he's crippled. Movement eight. He still outruns the rest of the team. Ah, oh, luck. The troll finally starts doing something. Not yet, anyway. Here we are. Desperation play on turn 12 here. And uh, yeah, it's desperate. All right. And he got him. He got him. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. Shut up and take my money. Unfortunately, he does fail to pick up the ball, but he did get the knockdown. The problem is the rest of the Underworld squad has not moved and they're all the way back here. They need to be up here. Got so eager to get the ball back, didn't he? Should have been moving the other players up there. Oh, well. Too much of a panic roll right there. And there we go. Skaven being calm here. I'm going to try and get the ball. Yes, they get it on the re-roll there. And, yep, here we go. Is he going to go? For no, he's not doing it. He's just going to run it. Just going to run it. Underworld had the entire turn there. Instead of going for that, they should have started moving these players, especially AG4. And they would have got moving. Tentacles finally does work. Finally. And then there he goes. Do it! And he's done it all right. There's a rarity. It's actually a goblin injury. Oh, here we go, lads. Full speed ahead here. But well, now they move. And I'll be blunt. It's a turn late. At least. This player moves a turn late. And now the scramble by Underworld on turn 13. They have no rerolls left. Charge in. And nothing is going to work. A lot of rerolls and about to be all out of turns if they can help it here. Skaven, can't believe it there. It's been a tough game there. Here, dodge this. Pushes them away there real quick there. Meanwhile, charging through here. Skinner Skinner stab stab probably was his best choice considering the money he had. Because it's Underworld, there's only certain choices and that actually was a really good choice. He just didn't perform, and then unfortunately, I don't know. It, it, that's going to be a real analysis by everyone later on there. Did he misuse them? Did he use them correctly? Did he just fail? I, I think it's about all three there. How indeed. You're late, son. All right. The cripple. Can he make it there? More big heavy blocks going on here. Skaven trying to protect the score. Looks pretty good here. Yep, this is Tentacles finally doing what they need to do. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day. So he risks the two red dice to finally get the push away. See, that's what the Tentacles were for. Get a good run it. It can't move. It really can't. He's kept them there for two turns. All right, now the Miracle charges through. He's got the two dice there. Miss. It's and all it does is show him even closer to the end zone here. More oh, the Underworld scrambling in. Yeah, losing the tackle has basically done him in at this point here. And yeah, Troll rolls a one. Rolls another fucking one. He's not going anywhere. Just when you need his tentacles to be doing something again for the second time. 
He activates them and rolls a fucking one. All right, charges in. They just need to remove the player here off the runner. Here he goes. Wait, he isn't dead. I know, it is a bit of a surprise there, but now the gutter runners are going to have to do their bamf bamf magic, isn't it? And there he goes, running, full speed ahead, they're setting up an escort here. Meanwhile, desperate times here. Push me, push you. Yeah, he's running with it, here he goes, full speed, he's going to cage it up there. Witness your doom! Yeah, this is witnessing doom alright, he is a blodger, the fireballs are gone. He's got everything marked up there. God, he was looking so promising, that drive. And then he went backwards. He went backwards. And that gave the Skaven every opportunity they needed there. And they've definitely taken advantage of it. Goblin down. I repeat, a goblin down. Troll on the... Here we go, the miracle play. Some miracle there. Sigh. And his name is John C. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing left in the tanks, people. There's nothing left in the tanks. And the Skaven on turn 15. They are confident, but they do still have to stall it. As you did see, Underworld managed somehow to do a one-turn touchdown, but this second half has gone completely Skaven. And the Skavens are rampaging as we speak here. They're feeling good. It looks like they are indeed going to be advancing to your final four. We don't know who they're facing yet. They're still going to be waiting on the results of that match there. Oh, God. You're going to risk it. Yeah, he's risking it. He made it. <sighs> Shenanigans! 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 If that had been a double wood... That would have been a disaster. He's figured he's got so many re-rolls there. Bit of a gamble, but he's got all the re-rolls. Big wrestle. Takes the player down. Yeah, the bribe never came into play. Bribe never came into play for him there. So much for that idea. I hope you die from hugs. Killer hugs for everyone. Yeah, well, Underworld gave it everything they had, but the second half was not to be... And that is it there. And yeah, he's just going to go do the loop-de-loop. -loop. Wave to the fans there. Wave the clan. Three to two. fight to the end that was but there you are your final results the final score the Skaven will advance to the final four three to two on the world one hell of a fight they put on first half looks like they were holding tight they had the numbers advantage and then it all fell apart in the second half it all completely fell apart it was like the team for a moment suddenly realized we can win this and that was the wrong thing for them to realize at that point. Well, that is it for today. Hopefully tomorrow we might have another game in the kitty boy then. Or at least we'll have exchange. And do remember, awful more games are coming up there. We will be broadcasting those as we go on. So you all, be safe. And awful, bless your dice.